My friends, welcome to what I hope to be the final episode of the Boar Collective series. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be warring the, Vidian, um, the Vidians uh, in order to gain territory next to the Valve, which the Valve won't like, but also will give me the assimilating uh, causes belly against them. Uh, other, otherwise, we are unable to do anything. The Valve don't have, uh, actually, the Vidians don't have any friends, so let's declare just declare war. Could invite some uh, attackers, but I doubt any will join us. Let's declare war. And let's immediately say, get my twos. Here we go to Savory. And we'll take everything uh, what's in between. As soon as we can peace out, we will. I don't think there's going to be much resistance. On the other on the other part of the galaxy, something amazing is starting to happen. And you can see it already here in Federation territory. The Terran Empire has uh, declared war. And they sneaked into uh, this... Um, how do you say it? In this reality, in this um, alternate universe for them. For us, it's the universe. And they are making short work of, uh, of the Federation. Um, they are the attackers. Um, and, well, actually, maybe are the, 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 the attackers. The war Exhaustion 62... High number versus low. Uh, since the war exhaustion changed, I just don't know how it goes anymore. Uh, but I'm going to say they are doing a amazingly good job, seeing that they are also at war with the Andorians. And by the looks of it, they are... Are they doing well? Yeah, they are. Okay, so let's take a quick look. So the Andorians are the defenders. So that's 88 versus 71. So, yeah, I think that the highest number is uh, the best number out there. Uh, if I wasn't doing this for a so I would have let this run for another few hours. Just to see how the Terrans would work their way into the Federation. And how they would handle the Cardassians. Uh, because I do believe that they are already... Oh, well, maybe not. There's so many in here that I just can't see anymore who's causes bellying who. Uh, let's go back to our fleets. Uh, who are just going into um, a rectalia. Or whatever it's pronounced. Which is fine. It's all about these two systems. We don't care about anything else. Um, we might be... Yeah, this is what I don't particularly... Fancy. Although, I don't care about the terrain at all. Uh, what we want to be doing is... Uh, well, we definitely are not going to surrender. Um, but the status quo thing we need to obtain. We only want Savoy. And we will immediately declare war against the Vav. I'm not quite sure if I would like to build up a starbase here. Maybe we would need it. Maybe we don't. And last time I checked, the Vov was kind of aggressive. And they were still superior. So, I'm hoping that will change. I don't feel the need to um, to take a look at that right now. So many bloody Borg ships here. That's so nice. Some of them are uh, quite a bit slow. I kind of hope they would... Attack me. Now if a fleet of them is... is um, let's say we declare war against them. If all of them go in here. Then the station is very nice. But if one of them is going to Rekla. We will definitely are going in. Because by the time they get back. We should have done a good amount of damage. Hopefully it will go into my favor. But we'll see. Let's uh, close these planets because it's uh, it's annoying. <laughs> I wonder how fast this will go. Yeah, that that that, that took no time at all, and the Vov should be triggered right now. It shouldn't be taking them too long to um, get back to me. And uh, let's see, where's the station here? Starbase is disabled, which is fine. Oh, I'm thinking about getting it. Getting a station in here. Can we sue for peace? 
No. Uh, we don't care much. Let's just let this tick. Um, our energy edict is done. Let's reactivate it. Hmm. Let's not pause the game. So now we have territory against the Vov. The station is back. Let's upgrade it at least. It won't do. Look at that. That won't. That that be. One upgrade is already two years. That's too long. That's too long for my liking. I think it's as good as time as any. I think this is as good as time as any. Let's wait here for a few seconds. Until this one is repaired. And it is slow. Oh boy. Okay, here we go guys. Your true skills are finally Ooh, they're showing. E they're equivalent? Oh, shit. The do or die. Will we win? Will we lose? This is it, guys. Enthusiasm. What will the Vov do? I do not... I honestly don't know. Will they engage me? Shall I engage them? That is the question, of course. Let's let's move towards the border. Get rid of you, actually, for a second. No, actually, I do need you. Move to the border. Do we have sensor range? I either feel like harvesting or taking it. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. They're here. Oh shit, that's, that's way more than I gave him credit for. Then let me enter. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, yeah. Oh damn. This is it guys. Do or bloody die. And most of them are cruisers. Oh man. Oh, will we do this? How are we going to do this? <gasps> Let's get this up. Holy shit. And this vessel. No. Yeah, that that's way that's more like it. Um not all of them are in yet. They should be all attacking right now. Oh wow, well, look at this! We might be doing this! Huh! Are we... Are you for real? Yeah, we are! Look at how fast this is going! Zoom out a bit so you can all witness. Now, we still have three full ships and they are losing... Well, maybe not as much as I'd hoped, but they are definitely hurting. And some of them are jumping out. Oh, actually, no, that was one of mine. Oh, I don't know. This one, they're, they're all so close. Oh, this might be going backwards. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It is, um... I, I really don't know. It, that, that's a lot. It is a lot. And like I said, it is do or bloody die, guys. Because, uh, I, I've, I've, I've been... I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm done. I'm through my energy. And I need something else. So we will definitely see. Oh, this doesn't look good. This does not look good. Uh, we, we put up a nice fight though. We put up a nice fight. Uh, we definitely took a lot of their ships down. I can tell you that. Uh, but it is the shielding. It is the shielding that has... Um, has been hurting me. 
Yeah, they're all jumping. Some of these are already destroyed. That Admiral died a very, very nice death. All, all heal the Borg. Wow. So high number is not good. It's going down. So even the Terrans are not doing as well. Uh, let's take uh, something. Oh yeah, the end is over. Oh, that's it. That's it. They, they, we, we definitely... Let's take a quick look here. Fleet combat. So... They definitely lost a few transports over here. And this fight wasn't the biggest, I think. Really, is that all they lost? No. No, that can't be. No, no, we're missing. We're missing something. Did we only destroy this small amount of ships? Oh, that's hilarious. That's absolutely amazing. I wonder what they will do. I'm thinking they will... They will definitely have to restock. Ah, uh, oh well. It was a good run. It was a good run, my friends. I, I had a lot of fun. Um, I hope you had fun as well. And There's not much I will uh, do with the Borg Collective at the moment. I just needed something to finish it. In, in terms of the Borg, I liked I liked the Empire a lot, uh, but you do need to um, deal with the Border Gaul here, uh, even though Cohesion is still at 100, which I don't understand, because, uh, let's see, what's the easiest way to show you? Yeah, blue, look, the entire galaxy hates me now, and we already knew that, uh, and all of that is blue, and that is mine. Uh, let's pause here for a second because my game is struggling so, so hard. Uh, even had already a freezer too, so I don't want to deal with it anymore. Apparently, these guys over here um, haven't dealt with me. Uh, this is the uh, demilitarized zone, uh, by the looks of it, is uh, it is indeed neutral to me. That's, that's great. That's really good. Let's get out of this uh, this view before it kills me. Uh, and, and just watch, um, let's watch our unit complex one. There you go. So, I would definitely advise playing the Borg. You might play it differently than I am doing. Uh, I, 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 from the start, had an idea in mind of keeping myself as small as possible. But you can also claim planets. You know, you can claim planets. And I would advise on just doing that and, and just stock up on research. In terms of Empire Sprawl, um, attack cost is definitely hurting as well as your tradition. Attack cost not as much actually, I was thinking it would be a lot more. Now leader cost, leader upkeep, we don't care about that. Outpost, outpost building cost, nobody cares about that because you will just take over enemy bases without paying influence. So no one cares, the only thing that you are worrying about is um, tradition and technology cost so just build a crap ton of uh, research and for unity i believe on planets you can also build the hive mode hive node the hive hub and that will generate 21 uh, in terms of unity it isn't as much especially because you are you will penalized a lot uh, but still, it was a uh, it was a good one. I had a lot of fun. Now um, I'm thinking about doing a tutorial series, and I'm going back to vanilla. It's uh, it's been a while since I've played regular Stellaris, and I want to do something where I go more in depth for new players. So if you want to see me do that, or if you have things that um, I might skip or I might not know. Um, let me know in the next uh, tomorrow because I believe then I'm, I'm, I'm still need to record it but uh, I hope to get my very first episode up on the Stellaris guide um, on Grand Admiral without scaling so I, I do I'll, I will push myself but I still want to have fun so we need to make sure that we can claim we need to make sure we get enough of all of these goods just to stay afloat but uh, yeah, that's it for this time, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And uh, yes, the uh, the outcome of this war was uh, not what I hoped for. I was kind of hoping to um, to do more damage. 
Uh, yeah, but it is uh, definitely the shielding uh, that was the problem. Could I have done anything else? Let's go. Let's take a quick look. Uh, blue. Uh, shield penetration, armor damage. Shield penetration and armor damage. So it is all about penetration, but not as much about the uh, damage in terms of torpedoes. I might have gone with more torpedoes. Um, what we were lacking was ways to hurt. Actually, I really hurt um, the hull damage. So getting ship with a high torpedo yield would have been, well, not bad. This one has five, five torpedo slots in terms of this tree over here. So maybe in terms of armor damage, holy sh... I was not aware I got this one actually. Look at that! Damn! Whoa! Whoa! Time... Okay, okay, before we go... Oh, you idiot, should have bought it. Look at this. So... 365 days. Uh, let's do it time two. So, uh, and then it's 20 years to build this Omega Cube. Is this actually the one that I was uh, hoping to get? Let's see, where's my... Uh, there you go. The Omega Cube. You can only have one. And damn, it is insane. If I knew I had this one, I would have built it. Uh, but 20 years, that, that's a long time. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for staying with me, to, to sticking throughout this series. Um, I had fun, a lot of it. Uh, and I hope you had to. Hope to see you tomorrow with a brand new series. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.